วัสดีครับครับ Happy Children's Day ไม่ Happy New Year anymore Happy Children's Day สุขสันต์วันเด็กใช่ไหมไม่ไม่ใช่ปีใหม่อีกแล้ว Okay today we have a new translator Okay So we are going to have a few people to be able to help translate Who knows you are next Okay. But have happy happy children's day. Uh oh no. So before we continue, I want to show you the video of yesterday's event. Mm-hmm. Every year during Children's Day, every year during Children's Day, our church organized a trip to the, the provinces to, to 
to celebrate Children's Day with the poor children. So ทุกปีในโบสถ์ของเราก็จะมีการจัดให้มีการไปงานวันเด็กในต่างจังหวัดนะครับ And in the past few years we did it in Chiang Mai. ประมาณสองสามปีที่แล้วเราไปที่เชียงใหม่ But this year we went to uh, we went to the province in uh, Ratchaburi. แต่ว่ารอบนี้เราไปที่ราชบุรี And uh, really, really, uh, and, and it's near the border of Myanmar. And then uh, it's a school where the, all the, uh, it's a school next to the border, and uh, and we go there to encourage the children. And uh, we have a lot of food. 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 We have a lot of kids. We have a lot of kids. And I just see the video. Just how you see the video. Some of them are not real children. Some of them is a member of our church. <laughs> but mostly we give to the poor. Some of them are not so poor. Like no, not so poor, but we also give to him. We love unconditionally. Even no eat the ice cream, okay, no my it's unconditional. But mostly we give to the poor. And you saw me doing the ice cream thing, right? Actually that was a guilt guilt job. Because I went there early in the morning with my family. And then I ate just the fish balls. That ate the fish balls. Oh, and then we're about to go home. <laughs> and say, this does not feel good for me. <laughs> I came all the way here and eat the fish ball and go home. <laughs> so let's do the ice cream thing. <laughs> But anyway, I appreciate all the volunteers. <laughs> you wake up early. Prepare the games. Prepare the food. And especially those people who raised the money to go for the past few months. I mean, I don't know how many coffee you sell, but you sell a lot of coffees. But one thing I realized. Because you got. You know, in spite of the hard work, in spite of going uh, early in the morning, spending your own money on the gasoline, everyone is so happy. Everyone is so willing. No person complained. Everyone is so happy to give. And that's exactly what Jesus said. It is more blessed to give than to receive. When we give, we're happy. Amen. So today we're going to talk about good news for the poor. Let's look in Luke chapter 7. Luke chapter 7, verse 22. So he replied to the messengers, Go back and report to John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is preached to the poor. และพระองค์ตรัสตอบสองคนนั้นว่าไปบอกยอนในสิ่งที่ท่านได้เห็นและได้ยินคือว่าคนตาบอดได้เห็นคนง่อยเดินได้คนโรคเรื้อนหายสะอาดคนหูหนวกได้ยินคนตายเป็นขึ้นมาและพวกคนยากจนก็ได้รับฟังธรรม Why is Jesus say the good news is preached to the poor? ทำไมพระเยซูถึงพูดว่าข่าวประเสริฐนั้นไปถึงคนที่ยากจน Is only the poor people can get to heaven? Why can't we preach? Why can't we preach the good news to the rich? Is it about money? Is it about 
how much you give to the church that you can get to heaven? Why is the good news preached to the poor? Why not Jesus said, preach the good news to the rich and the poor? There's nothing wrong with that. But Jesus said, the good news is preached to the poor. He said about money. No. It's about heart. What kind of heart is Jesus looking for? The poor. Let's look in Luke chapter 7. Oh, sorry, Luke chapter 14. Verse 7 to 11. When he noticed how the guests picked the places of honor at the table, he told them this parable. When someone invites you to the wedding feast, do not take the place of honor. For a person more distinguished than you may have been invited. If so, the host will, who invited both of you will come and say to you, give this person your seat. Then, humiliated, you will have to take the least important place. But when you are invited, take the lowest place so that when your host comes, he will say to you, friend, move up to a better place. Then you will be honored in the presence of the other guests. For all those who exalt himself will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. ลูกกาศิษย์สี่ข้อเจ็ดถึงข้อสิบเอ็ดฝ่ายพระองค์เมื่อทรงเห็นคนทั้งหลายที่รับเชิญนั้นได้เลือกเอาที่นั่งอัน
Does it make the picture clearer? Yeah. Is it tough? Is Jesus tough about going to banquet like that? Now Jesus talked about being humble. And pride, right? It, humble and pride. If you're humble, you will be exalted. But if you are prideful, you will be humble. In some way, this is like nature of life. Being humble is the issue here. Because like the, the, like the video you see, if you try to be, try to, when you are prideful, who do you focus on? On yourself, right? People, you want to be recognized. You need to be respected, right? But if you're humble, you're thinking of, of, about other people. When I see this video, I remember when I watched this video or this story, I remember when I was a little boy. My my grandfather, uh, I was let me be maybe eight years old. I don't remember how old I was, eight nine years old or seven eight years old. He took me to watch movie. And at that time the movie is like ten baht. The movie. Like uh, Maybe forty years ago, fifty forty years ago. Yeah, 40, 50 years ago. 10 baht only. That's a normal seat. And then the expensive seat is 30 baht. But my grandfather don't buy the 30 baht one. He bought a 10 baht seat. And then the staff bring them to the 10 baht seat. We sit down. And then when the king's anthem finished, he looked around and he will move to the 30 baht seat. <laughs> I feel like something like that, but the opposite way. Be humble first and then we go to the higher seat. <laughs> we're, we're, we're humble because we want to go to the cheapest one. We seek the high, the most expensive one. But I was always feared that either they're gonna come and move us back to the ten baht seat, or worse, kick out of the movie theater. But we need to be humble, right? But let's look at what Jesus meant being humble here. Continue to read in chapter 14. Oh. Chapter 14, verse 12 to 14. When Jesus said to his host, 
when you give a luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers or sisters, your relatives, or your rich neighbors. If you do, they will invite you back, and so you will be re repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at the restoration of the righteous. เมื่อท่านจะจัดการเลี้ยงไม่ว่าจะเป็นรางวัลหรือเวลาเย็นก็ตามท่านเชิญเฉพาะเพื่อนๆหรือพี่น้องหรือญาติหรือบรรดาเ
usually these people are self-aware. So, so But the poor, they are self-aware. They see their needs. They see they need help. They're searching for help. Google Translate, okay, the time. I hope it's okay. I didn't read it. <laughs> They're searching for help. They're willing to humble themselves to get help, to ask for help. They're willing to pay the price. Even though they don't have money, they're willing to pay anything to do anything to get help. Even being ashamed, they are willing to, to get help. They're not in the regular on the street. They say, oh, I'm afraid people see me. No, they're there to ask for help. They want to change. They want to change their life. They're looking for a new life. Like the blind, right? The blind will go to doctors. To do any doctors. And the family will be willing to pay any price. To get healed. I remember about 30 years, about almost 30 years ago. I, we were in Cambodia uh, sharing our faith with one family. With one family. And the family has a daughter who is blind. And this family, they are not poor, not financially, they're not very poor. They're okay, they're quite, quite, quite well to do at that time. But when the daughter is blind, the parents, including the daughter, was trying to look for any doctor possible in Cambodia to heal the blindness. But they could not heal her. So she went to uh, Vietnam to get to see the doctors in Vietnam. And the doctors in Vietnam could not heal her. And they bring to Thailand to Bamrunrat Hospital to get the doctor checked and trying to get well. The, the family spent all their money, all their savings, all to heal the daughter. And they could not heal her. Unfortunately, she passed away because it's actually they found out it's a brain tumor in her brain. And she passed away. But her family spent all their savings just to heal the blindness. So people in this situation, they are humble. They are willing. They are looking. They're asking. They're paying every price to get out of this situation. And Jesus said, this is the kingdom of heaven. This is the kingdom of God. For us to have resurrection in the end of the day, in the end of our life, to, to get resurrection, to come to a new life, when we get to eternal life. It's for this, this kind of people. Not literally for the poor. Not, not poor in money. Not about money. It's about humility. This is opposite of what Jesus said. Do not invite your friends, your 
brother, sisters, your relative, and your rich neighbor. And if that time, because that we, we have to attend the yard of ours, we have to attend the yard of ours, we have to attend the yard of ours. Usually, what do they have in common? Uh, for common, that's going to be like him, but can. Usually, they have their their one respect. Uh, for common, that's going to be like him, but can. They want you to respect them. Uh, I, I have met a friend uh, that uh, his from very close friend invite him to the wedding of uh, uh, son. Uh, but the couple did not want to go. You know why? Because they did not come to invite me personally. They did not respect me. It just passed by the invitation. E, e invite only. General invite. So they did not, did not attend the wedding. Because they did not respect me. You know who I am? Who am I? You know who am I in the society? You know who am I in the company? I did not come. So because of that disrespect in his view, or her view, uh, so he did not go to the wedding. This is a rich friend, neighbor. Rich neighbor. All brothers and sisters and relatives, that's the other problem too. <laughs> Who have watched the new movie called The Crazy Rich Asian? I do not like Crazy Rich Asian. Oh, only a few. Well, so you do not understand what I'm talking about. If you watch that movie, The Crazy Rich Asian movie, to a Crazy Rich Asian movie. Okay. Crazy rich, crazy rich Asian. They almost they were nominated in the uh, Golden Globe Award. But they did not win. But in that movie, will explain why you don't want to invite your your relatives, your brothers, and sisters to your wedding. Because they all compare what you have, what I have, how much rich you are, who is rich and who is poor, and who is important and who is not important. Very entitled. Very entitled. Where does she sit? See, in that movie too. She sit in front or in the back? Where does she sit? Very important. How much did they pay? Who paid for what? Very important. Like Jesus said, oh, you rich, uh, you treat these people, they will calculate how much you pay for me. In their heart, they calculate every dollar, every cent, how much you do this for what. And then I'll pay you back one day, equal. You give me the gift, I will calculate. How much did that cost? 1,000 baht? Or 10,000 baht? Next time your birthday, I will do the same. Not more than 1,000, just about the same equal amount you give me. Jesus said, don't invite these people. They're too entitled. They're only looking for them, their own self, where they are at in society. They, they think I deserve respect. I deserve you to love me. I deserve you to love me. How much I give you, remember the gift? I deserve better. I have my right. Yeah, very critical. Jesus said, don't invite those people to your banquet. Invite the poor, the cripple, 
lame and the blind. Uh, okay, again, this is not a lesson about real wedding banquet, okay? This is about the kingdom of God. This is what the kingdom of God should be, people who are really humble. It's not about money, rich or poor. It's about the heart of the disciple. We need to be humble to enter the kingdom of God. We need to be humble to sustain ourselves in the kingdom of God. We need to be humble to the point of going to heaven. Being resurrected with Christ. Okay. We did not have time to read the whole chapter of uh, Luke 14. Okay. If you have a chance in your quiet time, please read the whole chapter. But in uh, Luke chapter 14, the conclusion in verse 33. That's what Jesus concluded the whole lesson. The summary of the lesson. The summary. In verse 33. In the same way, those of you who do not give up everything, you have to not be my disciples. The point he, Jesus is making is being a disciple. The cost of being a disciple. If you're not humble, you're not willing, you don't see your need for Jesus, if, if you do not see your need for Jesus, you cannot be the disciple of Jesus. Because you will not be willing to give up everything for Jesus. You, you will not be willing if you do not see your need for Jesus. Okay. If you are humble, and if you will see your need for Jesus, and your need for salvation, then you will be willing to give up everything for Jesus. Because Jesus is that valuable. Because Jesus is the only one can get us to heaven. So whatever price Jesus asks us to pay, whatever thing that Jesus asks us to do, if we are humble, we'll say okay. We'll be willing. We will do it. But if not, that's hard. If you're not humble, you're not able to pay the price. Because you think that you deserve more. The truth, the truth but, as a human being, if we compare to God, and we compare to our real life, and if, if we're honest about our sin in our life, we are not worthy. We are not worthy to enter the kingdom of heaven. We do not deserve to be in the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of God. We are only here. We are only here. It's because Jesus paid the price for us. We cannot repay. Without sin, we cannot repay. Only Jesus repay our sin. And Jesus raised up in 
their last day. Only Jesus can do that. So, not only we need to be humble to enter the kingdom of heaven, we need to be humble to be in the kingdom of God continuously. And as, until until we die. Amen. Amen. That's what Jesus wants us to be. And that's why Jesus invites all of us. Because we're the poor. We're the cripple. We're the lamb and the blind. We're the humble people responding to Jesus. I hope that we can continue to be humble. To be in the church. Especially as the new year starts. And we want to make our new group, family, small family group, work. In each group, this we require every disciple to be a true disciple. Disciple who is willing to give up everything for Jesus. Be willing to be humble to one another. To be willing to not just criticize, but have constructive criticism and grow together. To build each other up. To support your Bible talk leader. To get help. To see that you need help. I need help spiritually. No one, no one is smarter than Satan. Only Jesus. We need one another. Jesus tells us to have love one another. Jesus wants us to correct one another. Jesus wants us to encourage one another. Jesus wants us to confess our sin to one another. We need to spend time with one another. To help one another. To help one another. To not forget about this verse. Because we remember this verse very good before we become Christian. When we before before we become Christian, this is very important verse. If you don't do this, you cannot get baptized. Right? Right, Chanin? Everything. But after we become Christian, oh so many conditions we cannot do. How come? No, we have to remember this that we are Christian. We have to be willing to do this all the time. And that's why we need one another. We need a group. We need partnership. We need to be humble with one another to make this work. We cannot do it alone. I cannot do this alone. You also cannot do this alone. But with one another, Jesus' grace, Jesus' grace, and mercy, and forgiveness, we can do it. Amen. Amen.